I'm telling you. Is it? Is the foreign queen strikes again. <laughs> From out of nowhere, who'd have thunk? Right? I, 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 I'm, I'm still shocked. I'm shocked that they are so brave and bold to do this on the world stage here at the groups nonetheless. But let's break down these comps. Mm. Well, they have to risk it all. They have to risk it all. There is nothing to lose anymore. Uh, actually, everything to win and nothing to lose because they still have a chance to go for a third match. I guess if there was a place to do it, you do it here right now. Mm -hmm. Into the land of dawn we go with the landscape of Metro Manila on the horizon as we go into game number two. Loading up Fireflux versus Team SMG. I speak for everybody when you go that fast in the land of dawn, right? No, I, I find it hilarious because it's too relatable. It's it's like it's you, too real. It's too real. You know the words of the soul. You know how to express them well. With Team SMG on blue side, up against Fireflux on this red side, I am genuinely nervous because if we're talking about the way that Stormy plays highly mechanical and now has to go with a kind of strange off-meta pick, but more importantly, so he can't force push these waves against the Trizla. Trizla wins every time. Look, the Trizla on Rosa especially, I said that he's one of those who like to play in the back side of things. He, he, he loves to watch from a distance and have his own effect. Seeing him this time play a fighter, a fighter in the mid lane, this is something really strange to see, but that's what we can expect on the world stage. Having the ambulance here, we'll see that both teams is not, no, nothing is out of the ordinary. They are just using the penetration in terms of the Brody and also having, uh, Beatrix wants to actually go for the late game a little bit. She, she wants to use the items. Like, I mean, Spoon's gonna take some damage here. He's not going to die just yet, but you can see that he's pulling attention away from everybody else. Whoa, this is, hey, this is, let's calm down here for a second, boys. We're not level four just yet. We don't want to be giving first bloods too early on, especially a minute and 32 seconds into the game. But mm. with 26 more seconds until the turtle actually spawns, I'm realizing that this might actually be a problem for the side of Team SMG, right? Because as soon as the heavy spin comes out, there's not really much of a way to kind of disengage other than the guiding wind, which can only pull one guy. Well, I think that at the gold lane, I would expect to see, because I, I've just like had a quick look at the items here, I think that both Sasa and Sunshine want to go for the uh, for the Blade of Heptases, which will give them a really good start, but you can also use uh, some of the items to also defend yourself against these heroes, because they both depend on the uh, basic attack, so maybe the parts of the Blade Armor as well can be here at the early stage? Potentially, potentially. The way that I see it, that maybe this could be like a half component into straight away go into a Haas Claw for the side of Sasa just to mm -hmm. make sure that he's still very, very healthy if he gets dived on by Rosa and even TNZ in these types of situations. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, especially with the Heart Guard, but we'll have to see the stats, uh, the stat check later on as TNZ currently level 5 and uh, Sasa level 5 as well, but this is uh, kind of difficult because Miko is giving so much info. Yep. Forcing a retribution from TNZ, but not going to respond. Now the dance begins a minute into this turtle fight. After it spawns, there's the Black Dragon form from Smooth. Oh. As Sasha pops a heavy spin, uses the retribution, shields and extra damage oh. on the Team SMG. They did not get TNZ as he dashes on through that wall. Thank you so much, small creep. Fireflox walks away. Team SMG happy, though, with their major objective. Nicely done, honestly, coming in from Rosa to kind of stop the follow-up from actually happening. Like, Smooth still has his Petrify. He could easily have gone to look for the lockdown, uh, the lockdown target of TNZ against the wall, but still wasn't able to make it a time. Whoa! Whoa! Forcing a flicker off of Apex 47. He will live. Still no casualties here in this three minute and a half game in already. Look how deep TNZ is. Look, he's stealing these little camps. Mm. Actually, team, team SMG is using their arsenal just to go for Sasa again as the first game. They are trying their best to farm him out to go. Oh, look, oh, they will sunshine. do it. Sunshine, Flicker's not gonna save you, son. Not after we hit you with a heavy spin and everything but the kitchen Ooh, sink. Oh, that young man has a family. Apex 47 follows on through. Rose is not gonna be able to save this duo down bottom. Team SMG, oh, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. I don't know if it was like an intentional that they waited to burst down to wait for the hard guard to completely go through so that Apex also gets stuck underneath yep. them, or whether or not it was just I was just a little slow to follow up and it so happened to work out. Well, I think that Apex should have, have cancelled the hard guard because at, at a certain point, it was so obvious that Sunshine will go down. He was just giving an extra kill and a gift 
I would say to Team SMG that he didn't even ask for. Yeah, you know what? I agree. He should have made like a tweet from 2014 and just canceled <laughs> it, man. I don't know. Maybe I actually was zoned out and wasn't looking at the or a purple buff side of Fireflux. Maybe there were people waiting to respond, and then it was just too little, too late. I mean, there was a rotation that was supposed to be coming in from the mid lane, especially Rosa. But unfortunately, wait, hold on. Oh, oh he's kind of deep into the sauce. Gets hit with the circling eagle. Apex catches the brunt of that, and Rosa. A lot of wisps. Now turtle spawns. A thousand and a half. Gold up, Team SMG, 2-0, clearly in the lead. The Malaysians, Fireflox, have to respond. They're taking it slow. Where's TNZ? Hardguard already spent in. Sasha holding on to the heavy spin. And there's a DPZ, forcing it out. TNZ with the steal. Miko goes down. The Yu Jong in the skies. Ooh. And Stormy gets a kill onto Rosa. Heavy spin save for the last moment, but smooth. Gonna get squashed like a lizard. Tenzi gets double. Sasha goes not in front of his family. And now <laughs> Sunshine making the most of the absence of the opponent while the last Kage does the same down bot. Yeah. I mean, oh, at, at the very least, Sasha knows that Alien doesn't have his ultimate in time and should be able to actually crack open bot tier one with no problems whatsoever. But he needs to start supplementing this, right? Mid lane's getting shoved in. Top tier one has already fallen. Sunshine doing a really good job. And honestly, Fireflux Esports is just playing cleaner due to their communication. Team SMG kind of looked a little like uh, funky and lost. Grand Theft Purple, too. They are the victims of Grand Theft Purple. What's going <laughs> on, Yasu? Actually, Tennessee, again, as I told you, he is the Soul Reaper. He, he comes in and he gets whatever he wants. He got the kills, he got the turtle, he got everything that was offered and not, and not even offered by Team SMG. And as you said, that was cold in front of his family. They did really a really nasty job against Team SMG having everything at that moment. But I would actually like to point out that Miko previously was annoying. I And again, I would say annoying Tennessee, but he couldn't do it. As the wild card because he was really annoying. Heavy spin on Rosa. Now Apex thinking about it. Should I or should I not? DPZ not bye enough. Bye. Sasa takes him down. All right. That's one way to bounce back. It is one way to bounce back, but let's see how many more because Smooth is losing his black dragon form on the top side and that bottom side gonna get shoved in as well. Whoa, whoa, let's let's calm down here, Miko. This man <laughs> is losing the circling eagle off cooldown at this point. Hmm. There's no there's no goal difference actually between both teams, so and so far, there's nothing uh, that much to, to speak about instead of the mistakes that no. Team SMG oh, are doing. Uh, oh, it Sasa is! Goes ahead and pops Apex with a Wesker like it's 2021. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That hurts, that hurts. Whenever it comes without you even noticing it, hurts Sasa was in a really good position and he could find himself and, uh, and locate himself when there was no vision whatsoever on it. It was the last time you all saw the shotgun, huh? Wait, answer that <laughs> later. In mid, DPZ by Rosa. Heart guard from Apex, saving their star player mid laner. And now the Lord still standing smooth. Still does not have his Black Dragon form. Saksha holding on to his heavy spin. Can he get it down? Last hurdle, who goes? It's Whoa. TNZ scoring it. Heavy spin, scored already. No one getting pinned down. Rosa. Rose are still good. Uh, Fireflox wins. If he had that penalty zone there, it was a massacre gonna happen. I mean, it's not just that. Wait, hold on. Sasa is gonna uh, actually uh, chunk the heck out here. <laughs> what happened? Even Sasa as well. Whoa. And he's gonna lose his purple. That's it. He's gonna lose his purple. Uh, TNZ, you rogue, you scoundrel. Oh, he takes it. And now Fireflox with 2,000 gold ahead. Yeah. yeah, it's not about the gold lead only. It's not about the kills as well. It is about the domination that Team Fireflux are applying. And at this moment, Team SMG are just listening carefully to whatever Team Fireflux has to say. Going into the jungle, it's easy. Going into the back lines, it's easy. Team Fireflux takes everything. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about just like gold lead, it's only a 2.1k at eight yeah. minutes into the game. That's honestly not that big. But then when you start considering the EXP lead coming in from the side of Fireflux on pretty much every single front, they are dominating very nicely. And this is very much in tune to what Fireflux Esports likes to do. That's oh. why they're on top. Here we go, Stormy stole away the penalty zone and here they come heavy spin trying to get rosa flickering away fireflux wow an immaculate retreat and they're still here mm, saxa actually every time he uses his heavy spin what was he actually aiming for every time he cannot catch anyone by the way by tennessee miko all right dash is on now using the flicker 
Team SMG clearly on the defensive. Yeah, mm. I think that Fire Flux, what's, what they have over Team SMG is just better communication, right? Better chemistry, better comms, because Team SMG have been anti-synergizing themselves, apparently, for a good majority of these games. A lot of the combinations that we're expecting to land does not even get close to connecting. Yeah, the, the engagement, the disengaged possibility that Team SMG is having, these are not using it whatsoever. So Miku so far haven't showed us that insane play that makes Matilda one of the most banned heroes. The same thing can be said about all the members of Team SMG. Even though they have the kills, it's a strategy game after all. It's not a game about kills, it's a game about domination and forcing your, bril your, your brilliant ideas. Right now, as they start walking up to what? Whoa, can't see. It actually has a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 He's even getting whoa, whoa. a hard guard too. He go with the circle eagle, knocking up three penalty whoa. zone, and the uh, bravest fighter spent up already. Oh. A lord at a third of its health, and five blocks just making space. The Turkish are gonna score the Lord here, and the fight continues. Saksha gets a face full of torn apart memory. Down goes the alien, oh. one for the Lord. Saksha survived, but just barely. Stormy looking to punish. Fireflux disengages. Ooh. Was that a worthy trade? I think it is. They still technically won the fight. I mean, yeah. considering <laughs> that Fireflux is the one ahead, it is a, a lot more worth it for the side of Team SMG. They didn't get the Lord, of course, but it, it was never going to fall into their hands in the first place, considering the four-level lead that Tianzi actually has over Saksa. But that could have gone a lot worse. Everybody was walking away at basically 10% of their HP. Yeah, Team SMG at this moment, we can say safely that they are buried by that ge that passive gameplay, never taking any risks main means that you will not gain anything. And so far, they are not taking any risk whatsoever. Team Fireflux will keep on marching with their troops, will keep on going into the inhibitor turrets. And actually, this might be a finish, even though it's not enhanced Lord. So Team Fireflux, with all the ultimates available, with almost all the spells available, they might finish it. Oh. This is one good thing I think Team SMG has going for them. They have good wave clear, and they're still defending outside their base. So I I'd say this is far from over. I mean, let's see how many inhibitors that they're actually able to... Oh, Miko still going. He should be getting out no problems. Yeah. But yeah, as long as Team SMG are able to kind of make sure that their inhibitors, most importantly, are still standing, they can actually start catching up in EXP and looking to contest the bigger objectives, bigger neutral objectives on the map. So keep in mind, the upcoming timer, 90 seconds, that's very important for the side of Team SMG. SMG. Gideon, you mentioned the O word, objectives. Team SMG need to get on that train. Not a single turret, man. <laughs> Own part of the map back so that they can crawl back to get more EXP, crawl oh. back to get more gold, smooth in trouble. Look at that long way heavy spin. The fight just breaks out like that. And now it's crashing oh, oh. through the collapse inside the purple buff side of Team SMG. Alien traded out for oh. two. This is not looking good. Sasa down a fifth of his health. Goes for the Nibiru's passion. Down goes Stormy. Traded out for TNZ. Three for two. Fireflux. They're calling all the shots. They're in the driver's seat. This is their game. You have to pay the price. You have to pay the price. And seeing the sunshine almost completes his items, you have to pay that price heavily. The damage is just unbearable and unmatchable. No one in Team SMG, even though the Beatrix has a, like a gold lead over the Brody, we haven't seen Sasa's damage. Oh, we actually have 5-0-2, but... I didn't see him as effective at the team fight as Sunshine was. Yeah, I mean, he was already getting attacked pretty heavily. I think that was kind of on smooth to go for the big follow-up. He has the Petrify, he has the Furious Dive, and he had three targets close enough together to actually secure that knockup. I think it could have gone, it was a good idea, but the execution from the side of Team SMG was a little on the low side. I think Firefox, they did get a little lucky there, but they're not gonna let that happen again. They've kept in mind the conditions that were set by the side of Team SMG to make that happen. Mm, well, being lucky wouldn't help them enough, but as again, we have mentioned how Miko was oh, doing. Oh, oh, oh. oh, before Miko, let's see what's coming here. Nothing quite interesting. Rosa goes back using his penalty zone and everything. And I would actually say, what, where is Smooth in this game? Smooth, he haven't actually showed up his Black Dragon's form ability being used to its maximum. You can take that Angela down, you can also take the Sunshine down, but so far, not, no, not, not, no dangerous gameplay happening from Team SMG. All right, if you're hunting uh, the Angela down, it seems to be an exercise in futility, right? That's the only real target for him is Sunshine. Okay. And 
that's a lot on smooth shoulders. Yeah, not to mention that. I mean, Sunshine, he's already got the winds of nature, so even if he does go for that full commit, Sunshine can easily start kiting backwards. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then get the hard guard in, and then punish smooth. So that's what's been happening the past 10 minutes right now. That's the hard guard already spent in. Sasha with the heavy spin, isolating Tianzi in Apex 47. Smooth this time around going 2v2. Sunshine and Rosa answering back. Tianzi taken down smooth. Team SMG back and off, retreating into the shadows of their own jungle. And with that, Fireflux reasserts dominance, going for their second lord of the game. Now approaching half health. Will SMG force the contest? Looks like they're backing off. The Turkish score another big one. Yeah, this should gar almost guarantee that at least one inhibitor target with the Luminous Lord going to be able to use its passive ability to actually crack, well, technically active, if we really think about it, into <laughs> the inhibitor. So I think right now, Team SMG, if, if they had a moment to just breathe and really think about the communication, because so far it looks like the decisions are very split amongst the members. And I think that unfortunately, Smooth is taking the good brunt of the damage because everybody's all over the place. Yeah, everyone, they are not synchronized between each other, but having that gold Dean, having also the Lord in your favor, and also seeing that Team Fireflux, almost all of them got the items that they need, and even actually more than the items that they need to finish the game. But going back to the point that Leo said, we the Team SMG do have an opportunity to defense, having that uh, Beatrix, and also having Stormy on the balance here. Here we go, Lord crashing on through mid lane inhibitor. It's just a matter of seconds before Fireflux pulls the trigger. There it is. Torn apart memory spent in. Saksha approaching half health. Top lane being forced in by Alien. Bottom as well cleared. The Turkish are taking their time, slowly but surely choking out Team SMG. Mm, synchronized minions. I would say that's, that's the key for this moment. Synchronized minions. And that's a wave up top, a wave down bottom. Team SMG have to very clearly decide where the resources are gonna go. Kenzi already Whoa. gets a hard guard in him, fighting underneath their base. Sasha very low, heavy spin committed, torn up our memory. Oh, the nub, the nub of the turret, enough to poison him into that weird position. And there he goes, Sunshine picked off. 4v5, look at Lord Smooth, and Sasa and Miko forcing the issue. They're gonna take oh, out Kenzie Pop for his immortality, and they're gonna take down this boy. Where's she going? The last Kage, the killer Kage. Two pickoffs, Team SMG still breathing. Finally, a mistake actually being exploited against Fireflux Esports. And I mean, Sunshine, I think it, it wasn't occurring in his mind that the stub of a broken tower can That's also right. be considered as a structure. A little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't mean that Fireflux Esports is down and out just yet. It means that the gold is actually oh. coming down closer and closer together with a real-time win rate in favor of the Turkish representatives. This might be the turnaround for the side of Team SMG to actually catch back up. Oh, Lord. Look, they're just running through mid. They have demolished tier one and tier two. Up top, there's also a big fat wave escorted by Smooth. All right, it's looking like the map can slowly turn blue. Team SMG holding on. I mean, you say that, but the disadvantage as well with two dropped inhibitors from the side of Team SMG. It's really important for them to actually hold those up. But considering that Fireflux has been dominating this hard, I mean, the next upcoming Lord, it's all about just managing the waves, kind of setting it up, letting it crash on top and mid side, and forcing Team SMG members to walk off of the Lord. Yeah, and even with the action happening in the map right now, that Kage is still safe and sound. He have been died one time so far and I would actually acknowledge that Team SMG can now bounce back because we have seen them pull up more than one good defense using the uh, the ultras from Sasa and also using the, the uh, Saksa, not just Sasa, Saksa to keep the minions away. But here is the real question. Will they be able to take the Whoa. Lords or not? For the first time in a long time, it's actually a 50-50. SMG contesting, May advancing. Lord slightly favored to their side. Lord here, a tenth of its health. In comes Alien. Genzi as Whoa. well. Sasha with the clutch retribution scoring this evolved Lord. Heavy spin back and off. Apex and Genzi. Genzi and Apex. Bravest fighter from Alien out oh. of this world. The killer Kage spraying down Fireflux. Taking down Genzi. Stormy goes down. Sunshine gets a kill. Alien gets his immortality pop. Team SMG able to retreat oh. under the shade of their tier three and bottom. Team SMG on the board. 
beautiful kiting coming out from Sasa there. Really, really beautiful stuff. But man, Tianzi, he was gunning for that. And unfortunately, Team SMG now have a Lord on their side. Stormy's not with them, but at the very least, they don't have to worry about the dive potential coming out from Tianzi specifically, as well as Rosa and Ailey, who both don't have Flicker anymore. Remember, in the last game, there was only one time that SMG could have finished this. And also, this is the time that Team SMG gets Whoa. to finish this. Rosa with a penalty zone coming in, spending that ult. And now oh. they're gonna get penetrated in mid. Sasa oh. with Nibiru's passion. Sasha with the heavy spin, pinning down Apex and Alien. They're still going, forcing the issue. Sasha dashing on through, guiding winds out. Smooth, putting up a wall between his teammates and Fireflux. That's a penetration that Team SMG are happy with, they back off. Ooh, okay, so this game is going to drag out longer. We're breaking the 20 minute mark. It is 19.43 as of right of this moment. But we can see, it's clear. Team SMG, they're playing to protect the Kage. They've got the bodyguards. They got to make sure this president doesn't go down anytime soon. Mm. Sasa's position is actually so far remarkable. It's like that, that's the least word to, to actually express what's happening right now. It is remarkable. Having that gold lead being turned upside down and now having the lead, even let's say the balance. So, so far, I would say something that I already mentioned in the wild card it doesn't matter anymore the gold lead or even the tourists because one single mistake can flip everything around. One single kill can make everything hard who, for whomever lost that kill. So, Fireflux, they only need one move to win this game, but the same case is for Team SMG. They only need one good move to finish this off. There is, it doesn't matter how many turrets you have right now. Just one mistake will make everything crumble down. Oh, and look at that. Even the minions know. Even the minions know. Hey, Tienzi, you've been slacking on your wave management. Let me take this tier one. Gideon, I gotta ask you, man. Past the 20-minute mark, where did SMG find this new swag? Where is this confidence <laughs> coming from, man? Because earlier, I remember, they were trapped inside their own base. I mean, they were stat-checked for a majority of this game. They're like, oh, we, we can make a really good move here. I don't have the numbers to back it up, whether it be number advantage in terms of people or just raw stats like attack damage or even magic damage in this particular case i think that as of right now team smg are starting to kind of pull it together right they're they're getting into the later stages of the game where you have to be just a little bit more creative in the way that you play but now we're following the simple protocols we're protecting the president keep it simple let them funnel into this and then we can start cutting backwards and really look for those big punishes rather than making that first move more than ever Yes, you were saying. Yeah, I was saying that there is a very uh, there is a very dangerous thing that's happening on the side of Team SMG, and that's the wave management because it is an issue that I think at some point maybe Fireflux will get the best use out of it. But so far, we can see that Rosa is in a really good position. Team Fireflux in a good position. Everyone is here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, they're gonna have to reset this Lord. The fact that they don't know where Rosa is means it's dangerous because again, uh. Uh, flickers off of the Thorn Queen. Penalty zone as well, could be disastrous, but wait, the dance continues, Saksha holding his ground, oh, gonna call it Ooh, off. Sasa is on the top lane already, he showed up on the map, so Team Fireflux have to start something now, they either, they either start dancing with that Lord Ooh. or even taking it down, but as you said, Rosa can be an issue. Oh, here we go, forces the penalty zone, Saksha holding on to the heavy spin, in comes Alien, Bravest Spider spent in already, looking for a certain legal, calls it back, Lord slowly getting pulled over to Team SMG's side. And it's approaching half health. Four members for Fireflux visible. TNZ drawing back up. The dance continues. Lord, less than half health here. Where is Team SMG's damage oh. source? TNZ spots out Sasa. Lord here, less than half health this time around. Taking their time. This Lord's dance going much, much longer. Saksha now reacquires his immortality. It continues, looks like Fireflux is twice bitten, thrice shy. This game is extending for way too long. TNZ, thinking about it. Black Dragon form, looking for the full combo. Oh. TNZ scores it right underneath, and they're looking for the pop-off, looking for the kill, and Rosa gets his immortality taken out. Sasa still doing a lot of damage. Down goes a Thorn Queen. The Queen is down, the Queen is down. Fireflux down a man. It's a 5v4, Team SMG getting a melt this Lord in mid. 
Man, what a beautiful dance that was, but now it's going even deeper as they start to push oh, forward! Oh, the passive of the Lord is helping Fireflux deal more damage! Alien here, the Vanguard, the sides here, stormy and smooth, they need to pick their fights very specifically. Saksha able to survive with about 1 HP, and a dream still here. Waves crashing through, Fireflux Esports, they smell blood in the water. Smooth and ah. stormy in trouble, TNZ! Gets one. It's a 4v4. Lord still alive. A quarter of its health still in. Nico with a circling eagle. As it goes, Lord still standing. Sasha still here. Sasha dealing out of damage. Team SMG defense. Sunshine just got his has claws, and even we can see that some of them have turned to use the uh, winter. Uh, the free team, Team Fireflux. They got the chance to reposition and also reset their ultimates and also engage and re-engage again and again and again. Fireflux gets back to the driver's seat. Yeah, this is this is quite a difficult game here because as much as Fireflux want to kind of penetrate the battle lines coming in from the side of Team SMG, there's just so much count. Oh, oh Saksa! Here we go! An early heart guard! Kenzie tries to find the Saksa. Sasha, he finds, and down ah. goes Sunshine, down goes Sasa. One for one trade so far. Underneath this tier three in bot. This is looking good for Team SMG, but Fireflux holds their ground. Fireflux taking down the last bastion. Team SMG no longer has inhibitors. And now Stormy back on the map. He wants some action, he wants a fight. Miko coming in with a circling ego, and they're dealing a lot of damage. Is this the right kind though? Heart oh. guard. Oh, penalty zone coming in. Stormy gets taken out. Alien still stands. Alien goes down, gets the immortality pop. Smooth here to the life, has an immortality as well. Penalty zone coming in. Sasha and Miko still here, defending, pushing out the minions. Minions slowly walking oh! in. Firefox feel it. It's just Sasha and Miko left. Ladies and gentlemen, the Turkish have done it. The Turkish are going to be taking the series in a sweep. Oh my god, 2 and 0. Well done. Firefox Esports really pushing the limits of Team SMG.